Hey everybody, this is Super Nintendo Mike here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald Version. In the last episode, we explored Slateport, pretty much not all of it, but we explored a good chunk and a good enough chunk of Slateport. And we took down Team Aqua in here, who tried to take this Devon goods from us that we delivered to Captain Stern. And in this episode, we're going to go to a whole different town as we are going to head north of Slateport. And uh, see what we can do. So, we are in Route 110. Which should I choose? Make a beeline for Mountville or Slaken Road? Or take the low road and look for Pokemon? Ah, speaking of this, we do not have a bike, so there's no way we can take this. This, pa this path is a lot more safer than the path we are going to embark, so... Anyways, in this grass, you can find Electric, which is an Electric-type Pokemon. Hey, I don't know if I should do... I don't know if I should get this Pokemon. Uh... He's with my team. I don't think I need an Electric-type, because... We have Steel Rock, Fighting, Dark Ghost, Grass, and Normal Flying. I think I really need a Water-type Pokemon. But then again, there's barely any Fire-type Pokemon in this game. I think Electric would be a lot more useful because... The only Pokemon that I have good against Water-type is just Chugga Conroy. You know what? Eh... I guess we can catch it. The only problem is I'm gonna have to do some leveling up off-screen with this thing. Uh, so... Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Oops. Can we find another one? <laughs> you can also find Gulpin in here, Poochiennas. And I think that's pretty much it. Alright, let's do this. Alright, good, good, good. Uh, my PC fan, oh no. Uh, that's gonna be pretty annoying. Oh, I don't have any Pokeballs. Oops. I need to go purchase some Pokeballs. I'm such a noob. <laughs> that's a new move. Eh, we can purchase five. In case I see anything else I want to catch. Oops, I did not mean to skip that, whatever he said. I am deeply sorry about that. Oh, you can find Wingo in here too? Huh. But yeah, I really need an electric type now because there's barely any fire type and the water type would be pretty much useless in a way. Alright, let's catch this thing. Ah, so close, come on. Yay! And I'm going to name this Pokemon. I was gonna be super genius, but you know what? It's gonna be super gene. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to be right back. I'm back. Sorry about that. Bunch of text messages. <clears throat> so we go up here. Oh, look at this. Oh, Michael, imagine seeing you here. Where might maybe? Oh, I see you two are running separately. Well, that's fine. Oh yes, I'm. Heard that your Pokenev had the match call system installed. Well, then I should register you in my Pokenev as well. Yeah, that's a pretty annoying thing about Emerald is that you have to register people, and sometimes they randomly call when you don't want to, so... Eh. That's why I prefer Emerald. I mean, Sapphire. Okay, looks like we're gonna have a double battle right here. Uh, you should get Super Genius some action. Actually, we don't even have to. I can give Super Genius the XP share. It's actually what I should do. So he doesn't even have to battle because I don't think he's going to be strong enough to take on these two trainers. Okay, let's see here. Puzzle and Minim. Yeah, these two are really annoying. You're going to see these quite a, a lot in this area. 
so we can take out one of them. Yeah. So we're just gonna take 180 out of that. Huh. Well, that's gonna be pretty good because these give you a lot of good amount of experience. Yeah, Super Genius doesn't even have to battle. Registered Pokemon fan, Isabel. Okay. Three steps and two steps and reach the Wonders Trick House. One, two, three. One, two. You're being watched. What is that shining? God, girl, how'd you know I concealed myself beneath this desk? You're sharp. No, because you made it obvious. Or I probably would have checked underneath there, too. They call me the Tricks Master. Wahaha, glad to meet you. You've come to challenge my trick house, haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your challenge accepted. Into the scroll here and let your challenge commence. I shall be waiting in the back. Alright, so what you have to do is to face a bunch of trainers. This can be really time consuming, so I'm just gonna sped it up like this. Otish, I don't think. Otish, however you wanna say it. We haven't faced one of these yet in the game, I'm pretty sure. And you have to have a Pokemon in the nose cut. Good thing we have Chugga Khan right to do that for us. And is there anything in this room? It might be a hidden item. No, so that's completely irrelevant. Wow, and this is not the same setup that I'm used to in uh, Pokemon Sapphire. But what we have to do is get that scroll, and no matter what, we have to face this trainer. So let's see if she's going to be a challenge. I did not mean to do that. Oh, you switch Pokemon in the middle of battle. Rarely do you see that out of just random trainers. Wow. You kind of see that out of gym leaders once in a while, but... Not really out of regular trainers. That's really rare. Yeah, let's see what Super Genius can do. No, not in love. Ah. Oh. Good. Found a scroll and remember the secret code so that the player doesn't have to. I, th I think that's pretty nice. I like that they did that. Alright, so let's see what we can. Orange mail, that's. I don't find the mail is that relevant at all. They're kind of a waste of time. Even though they're really cheap, I never really use them. Let's see if Super Genius can take this guy on. Ooh. Alright. Now let's bring up Super Genius. There we go. I mean, can Josh Jepson take it on? Jeez, I'm getting my own Pokemon confused. <laughs> Ooh, that did a ton of damage. Um. Gukajin? Oh, Steelwing didn't do that much damage, really? That's so sad. I'm surprised. Wrote the secret code down the door. Trickmaster is fabulous. That was the secret code? Seriously? <laughs> ah, you made it to me. Hmm, you're sharp. Took me all night to plant all those trees. I almost my, e my equal in greatness by one, two, three, four, five, six places. Fine, you've earned this reward. Rare candy. Alrighty. Yeah, I hope I can get my PC fan out of the way. Ugh, it's so annoying. That's how you get out. Alrighty, so let's go back to the Pokemon Center since... How many Pokemon... What level are you? So they're all around the same level. He's about to level up. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm just gonna keep that EXP share on Super Genius for a little bit longer. And let's progress in the game. I think there might be a hidden item. One of these patches. First of all, let's get a Dire Hit. Which I think increases the critical hit ratio or something like that. I don't know, let's see. It's... Wow, I remember it correctly. That's amazing. 
and I did not. Okay, so there isn't a hidden item. Yeah, I don't feel like facing you. Actually, you know what? Might as well. Oh, look at this cheese. That is some cheese. <laughs> Who do I want to bring out? That's eh, not a chugger going right. Ooh, that didn't do anything. And you should send out an electric. Yes. We're going to put... Lukajin out. Lukajin is a little behind, but yet again, my whole team is pretty much around the same level, so that's kind of weird. Alrighty. What is this? Hey, Michael. Long time no see. Well, I was... While well, I was searching for other Pokemon, my Pokemon grew stronger. So how about a little battle? Alrighty guys, we're going to take on Pokemon Trainer May, and she's going to send on a level 18 Wingull. This is going to be a problem. Can Josh Jepson take on this Wingull? We will see, and I'm not going to sped this up because it is a major battle in the game, and this will probably finish off the video. I was thinking about putting this in the next video, but you know what? We're only about 12 or so minutes into this video, I think. Maybe not even. So this will be the finisher to the video. And I don't think that May actually uses potions. So as long as we don't get hit by the supersonic, we should be able to take out this Wingle without a problem. And now a mosquito bite my leg. That is so annoying. <laughs> Come on. Oh no! No! Josh Jepson is out! Oh dang it. Yeah, Chugga will finish this thing off. Well, I think any of my Pokemon will. And since we're obviously faster than a bird, I mean, of course. A gecko thing is faster than a bird. Okay, that makes complete sense, game. <laughs> Alright. Combuskin. Me has no water type. Um, this could be a problem. But I think Makuhita or NCS in this case, it should be good enough. I'll see what Arm Thrust does. And then I'll probably do a Vital Throw because it's a pretty good move. Obviously it's more powerful. Ooh. Almost 50% damage. Come on, get four, get four. Let's see what Vital Throw does. Ooh, that... Ah, next hit, I'm done with NCS. Uh-oh. Because I think her third Pokemon... I'm surprised Combuskin came out second. Rarely does it happen. Yeah, he's done. Yep, 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 yep. It's an Alucogen. Oh, we attack first. Nice. Come on. Ooh. Double kick. Ouch. Proton John, let's go! Oh! So close, don't you dare! Ah, oh, man! Come on, Super Genius! No! Oh, this isn't good! Just one hit! Yes, we got it! Oh my god. Her third Pokemon should be a water type. If it is, then I am barely alive. Wow, that Combuskin almost swept my Pokemon easily. Please be a water type. Oh, I think Lombre is a water type because I think it's the evolution of Low Tad, but I, I don't know what Low Tad is. I think it's Grass Water. I'm not sure. Eh. Oh dear. But I don't think this Lombre is that powerful, so we should be able to knock it out easily. And I had potions on me. Oh, I'm such an idiot. And if it keeps on using Astonish, wow, crit. Rarely do you see crits from Astonish. Nature power? Uh-oh. In... I need to use Soda Pop. Alright. Automatic level up. Yikes, you're better than I expected. 
Yeah, that was crazy, combuskin like a boss. I was underleveled. I thought it was high enough level, I forgot that in Emerald, everything's a level higher than what it normally is. That's an item finder. Try it out. There's an item that's not visible, it emits a sound. Okay, blah blah blah. Alrighty guys, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Next episode we're going to head north and hopefully get out of this crazy zone. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Super Nintendo Mike here, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.